everyone and welcome back to my channel. First off, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that you've all rung in 2018 with your loved ones and had a really fantastic start to the year. Uh, today I'm going to be talking through all of my beauty favourites. So I've got a whole bunch of makeup favourites that I want to talk about and then I also have some skincare favourites and a couple of hair care favourites too. I have a whole swag of products next to me, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little bit of a long one, so I'll try not to drag things out too much, but I want to start with my favourite base for the year, and this is actually my favourite from last year as well, though I don't think I did a beauty favourites in 2016. And it is the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. Now I bought this off the recommendation from Anna from the Anna Edit. She said that she uses this all the time, particularly when she's filming, and I thought that it would be perfect for our wedding day. Luke and I got married in October 2016. I will link the wedding video up here in case you want to check it out. But I thought that this would be a great one to try out and probably a good one to wear for our wedding day, so I bought it. I loved it and I still love it now. I'd say the coverage is probably a medium coverage, however, I like to apply it with my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush and I find that that gives me more of a light coverage. I do want my skin to still look like skin and when I apply it with that brush, I feel that I get that effect. It is slightly matte. So personally, I like to apply cream products over the top, but if you have something like, so I'm just grabbing some from the side, a matte fix plus, I think you could probably spritz this over your face and it would help to kind of reduce that mattified effect but very very lovely foundation very easy to wear and I just think that it's very it's pretty natural looking as well as far as foundations go. I think we'll keep it to base products and then I'll jump into eyes so the next favorite I want to talk about is a concealer. Now I don't actually wear concealer on a daily basis I think I've talked to you guys about this before but I do have dermatitis and I just like my natural skin to kind of shine through and I focus more on wearing eye products like eyeliner and eyeshadow and mascara over base products but the one concealer that I always reach for if I have a spot or if I have any major redness that I want to conceal is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I've made a pretty decent dent in this. This is a really unusual concealer formula out of everything that I have tried. I don't love the fact that this comes in a pot, however I do find you can just use a beauty blender to apply it directly from the pot onto your skin, but it has sort of a slightly oily and extremely creamy consistency. I find that when you apply this to your skin it just melts away and I do feel like this is one of those things that's really buildable so I will kind of apply a little bit and if I need to cover up a bit more I'll pop a bit more of this on and then I'll usually pop a powder over the top just so that I don't look really shiny because this does have a tendency to make you look a little bit glossy. Um, I have this in the shade medium just in case you're wondering and I find that this is a really good shade for me in the winter time in particular. Speaking of powder, my favourite powder that I've been using this year has come from Rimmel and it's their Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. So this just comes it's a pressed powder formula and as you can see it looks white but it applies translucent on the skin. I find that this is a really great one for setting any of my cream products. It does help to mattify my skin a little bit but it doesn't make me look flat and one dimensional. So this is definitely a great one and it's very affordable too which I love. I actually realized I forgot to mention at the start of this video that I am wearing all of these beauty favorites on my face in case you want to know what they look like on. Now for my remaining three base products, these are all cream products and I really love the way cream products sit on the skin. I just think that they look a lot more natural and they really make you look really glowy and fresh which is definitely something that I'm kind of looking for when it comes to beauty products and makeup in general. So my favorite bronzer of the year is one that I discovered later on in the year, probably in the last three to four months, and it is from Clinique, and it is their Clinique Chubby Stick, and this is the Sculpting Contour Stick, and I got it in the shade Curvy Contour. Now, this is quite a warm toned kind of contour stick, so I actually just use this as a bronzer. I don't like to contour because I do have quite sharp angles on my face, and it's just not flattering at all on me. It's not cute, so I'm not into that, but I do love this to warm up my face. It's kind of more of a ready toned brown. I just think it is really beautiful. It blends out really effortlessly. You can just use your fingers to blend this out, which I think is is really great. I use a um, quite densely packed brush to kind of buff out the product but very easy to use and I think it's a really great one for beginners as well if you are looking to get into cream products. 
I have a few favorite cream products when it comes to blush, but there is one that sort of seems to stand out above all others for me, and that is the Becca Beach Tint, and I have this in the shade Watermelon. Now, this you can actually use on your lips as well as your cheeks, so I love the fact that it has a dual purpose, and you can kind of just use it to give a little bit of a flush to your lips. Uh, but I just apply a very small dot onto my fingertips and then I pat it into my cheeks. And you could also use a brush to apply this, but I just like the way that it gives me that very flush kind of look to my cheeks. It's very natural and it just adds that bit of color. So yeah, this is just a really beautiful one. There's a very true pink with a slightly mauve undertone. It's probably a little bit cooler, I would say, but absolutely adore it. And they do have a number of other shades too, so definitely worth checking out. 2017 definitely felt like the year that I really got into highlight. Something I started applying every single day when I was on my way to work as well. I just liked the way that it gave me a little bit of extra glow on my face and I just, I love it. So <laughs> the product that really has just won me over this year has to be the Glossier Halo Scope. Now I have this in the shade Quartz and this is just a really lovely cream highlight product. You can just apply it straight to your skin. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's sort of a slightly pinky toned highlight and I like the way that this looks very glossy and dewy on your cheekbones or on the bridge of your nose or on your cupid's bow. It's just really beautiful and it has this circle in the center which is sort of a, which adds a little bit of moisture to your skin as well. So definitely a beautiful one and actually this is a really great one to apply underneath if you're planning on wearing a powder highlight on top. I just find that it really helps to make your powder highlight pop too. Now I wanted to move on to eye products and there is one eyeshadow palette that I just have not been able to get enough of this year. I really do think it's beautiful, I think it's worth the investment and I would buy this hands down over and over again. And it is my MAC 15 pan eyeshadow palette. I have promised to do a review on this or a um, full eyeshadow collection because I have two of these. But this is the one that I reach for the most. Now this was a Nordstrom exclusive, I think they still have it so I will drop it down in the description box below. But this is the one I go to for every day. I just feel like there's a really good selection of colors. MAC eyeshadows are beautiful. They are really pigmented. They blend out really well and I find that you can get a really great selection of shadows. Now I've got two favorites. It's All That Glitters and then Wedge and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and it's usually that combination that I wear on a daily basis. I like the little bit of shimmer and I find that while this looks very cool toned in the pan it actually really warms up when you apply it with a brush onto your face. So definitely my my favorites. This is probably my least favorite in the whole palette. I want to say it's Amber Lights. Amber Lights? Yeah. It looks absolutely dreadful on me, unfortunately. I can't do super warm shades, but uh, the rest of the shadows in this palette are really beautiful, so definitely worth checking out. And I do think that these are really good value for money as well if you are looking at splurging and um, some MAC eyeshadows. Now this is another favorite that I sort of discovered in the last three to four months of the year. And again, it's from Clinique, and it is their Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. Now, I wear liquid eyeliner basically every single day. It's just sort of, I guess, part of my signature look. It's what I like when it comes to my eye makeup. And this one has just been the easiest. It's got a really quite pen-like nib, which makes it very easy to apply, as the name would suggest. It does usually need me to apply two layers just to make sure it's super black, but I don't mind that. It doesn't budge all day. It really stays in place, and it just, I think, gives me a really precise flick. So this has been the one that I reach for on a daily basis, and it's one that I love the most out of all the eyeliners that I have tried and used this year. I'm really picky when it comes to mascara, because I do tend to have oilier eyelids, so quite often what I find is that maybe within the middle of the day, I will have mascara smudged on my brow bone if it's not a really good one. So my favorite for this year, and this has been a favorite of mine for probably the last two to three years, is from L'Oreal, and it's their False Lash Wings Butterfly Effects Fibers Mascara. I don't know, it's a really long name, but it comes in the silver tube and it has this slightly angled wand. And I just find that this gives me really full, fluttery lashes, doesn't smudge at all, and they also are quite separated as well. So it is what I have on my eyes today, on my lashes today, should I say, and I really like this. I'm really happy with this, and I do think when it comes to mascaras, you don't necessarily need to spend a lot of money to get a great one. I think that the, the drugstore or kind of high street kind of uh, beauty brands tend to do mascaras very, very well. 
Finally, let's talk lipsticks and then I'll jump into my skincare favorites. Now, I don't tend to wear a uh, lip liner a lot, but I thought I'd mention my favorite because it has not changed and I do just think that this is the best brand for uh, lip liners in general. It is MAC and I love their Pro Longwear Lip Pencils. I think that these are the best. I do not enjoy their pencil ones. I find that they just scratch my lips and they're very uncomfortable to apply. Whereas this in particular is very creamy. It's very effortless to put on your lips and I, I just like the way it looks and I also feel like this is a very easy one to use as an all-over lip color as well I have this one in the shade nice and spicy I've also got a red one too which is really beautiful but definitely my favorite lip line is hands down if I'm looking to wear one then I've got two favorite um, lipsticks I really can never narrow this down to one I actually have more than two favorites but I kind of tried to uh, be very strict on what I included in this video so I'm going to start with maybe what I'm wearing on my lips right now and it's from Tom Ford and is their Lip Contour Duo. Now this is in the shade Public Display and this actually has a lip liner on one end which I don't really use and then it has the lipstick on the other end. Um, let me see how I can show you. Uh, this is a really beautiful kind of nudie toned brown color. I just think this is universally flattering. It's very creamy to wear. It's got a satin finish or satin glossy finish which I really like. Uh, I think it makes your lips look really nice and plump and it, re it wears really well as well. So definitely one that I am going to be reaching for a lot in 2018 as well. And then for a red, I really like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I think that they're really creamy and very pigmented and this this one is one of those one swipe wonders you just apply it once on your lips and you have full color so this is love bite and this is from the kissing lipsticks range and it's been a favorite of mine for the last probably two years that I've had it so very gorgeous definitely recommend if you're looking for more of a neutral to cool toned lip, red lipstick so that one is amazing and also the packaging is pretty sensational as well now let's talk about skincare products and I'm not going to go through my entire skincare regime I'm just going to talk about my absolute favorite beauty or skincare products that have been real standouts for me in 2017 I've actually added some new products into my routine which I'm obsessed with and I'm sure you're going to see them come up in a beauty favorites video later this year but I wanted to keep them out of this because I did start using them pretty late in 2017. So anyway, um, the first product I want to mention is my favorite cleanser and this is from Clinique and it said take the day off cleansing balm. This is actually my second tub of this and I'm not the only one that loves this in my household. You can kind of, I don't know if you can see but there's a very huge dent in this. Uh, this is a kind of, it looks like a white balm like that and what I do is I grab a maybe the size of two peas and I rub it all over my face and then uh, quite concentrating a lot on my eyes because I do tend to wear a lot of eye makeup and then I use a hot muslin cloth to remove all of the product from my face. It works really well. This is actually the product that I've found out of everything that I've tried that this gets everything off. I have done an evening skincare routine video which I filmed when I was in the Maldives so I will link that up here as well so you guys can check it out and see this in action but I love this. I just think it's a brilliant product. Like I said, Luke loves using this as well. When I was going to film this, he actually wanted to wash his face for the morning and he was saying to me, what have you done with the face wash? So yeah, um, very well loved. I think this is a cult product from Clinique as well and I definitely understand why. I can understand the hype and I think if you like balm cleansers, then this is one to check out. I have tried so many different moisturizers this year, but there is one that I keep coming back to just because I really love how lightweight it is, and I think it really works for me given that I tend to have oily but dehydrated skin. So it's from Eve Lom and it's their Rescue Oil Free Moisturizer. As I, This is super lightweight. I love the little pump bottle as well and you can kind of see here how much you've used up and how much you've got left to go. Uh, but it's very hydrating and it's one that I love using for during the day. So a great one. I, I really like the way that this works as sort of a base underneath all of my makeup. I've got two serums I want to talk about. The first one's from Glossier, and you guys will have seen so many people talking about this. It is the Super Pure Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. Now, this is one that is supposed to help you, um, your skin calm down and reduce breakouts and it's one that I use a lot whenever I feel like my skin's feeling very inflamed and angry and like I'm getting a few kind of um, red spots that sort of thing. I don't tend to have terrible skin but I just find that this helps me to alleviate any kind of redness and spots that I might have. So 
As you can see, I've used up a lot of this. I'm going to need to get another one. I do not use this every single day. Um, I tend to try and minimize the amount of products I use on my face, but I do use this probably at least three times weekly and I just apply maybe three drops onto my fingers and then I rub that all over my face. So this is really nice. I don't love how small the bottle is. I do think it's quite expensive, but it is definitely a good one to get from Glossier. It's probably the only serum that I would recommend just picking up. I think the other ones you could um, take them or leave them. And then the other serum that I want to mention is from GoTo. And this is their Face Hero and this is just the most incredible face oil I've ever tried. It's 100% natural and has a whole bunch of seed and nut oils in it and it's very nourishing. This is my favorite kind of oil to use in the winter time just because that's when I feel like my skin really needs some added care and attention and this just has a little dropper as well. I just drop a couple drops onto my fingers and then rub that into my skin and then I wake up in the morning and my face is absolutely glowing so definitely a favorite and this is a good one that you can actually also drop into your moisturizer as well so um, and also how cute is the packaging I can't get enough of that then I have a body wash favorite that I want to share which I mean I suppose is kind of a little bit random but this is from L'Occitane and I received this as a gift from them when I was in Dallas earlier this year and I'm absolutely smitten with it. I've actually kind of been trying to savor it as long as I can because I love this. I love the smell of it and it's their almond oil shower oil. Oh my god, the stuff is amazing. It smells like it smells absolutely divine. I highly, highly recommend going into a Luxe Home store just to smell this. This is beautiful. It is really nourishing and I find when I use this I don't have to apply a moisturizer afterwards. So this is one of those things that is definitely a treat yourself kind of uh, shower products but it's definitely beautiful as you can see. I mean I have used up quite a lot of it so far and it's one of those things that adds just a little bit of luxury into your day so very beautiful definitely worth trying then I've got two hair care products and I started to get a lot into hair care products at the tail end of 2017 um, I wasn't really doing too much with my hair because I am very kind of relaxed with how it looks but I did receive a number of comments telling me that I should maybe think about taking a bit more care of it so um, I did look into it I did pick up a few things and there are two products that I'm absolutely obsessed with. The first one is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is so expensive. I really cringed at the fact that I think this is about $25 for this teeny weeny little bottle, but I am making it last. So this I apply just to the bottom part of my hair and I kind of scrunch it up. It gives it a bit of texture, it makes it a bit piecey and I, I don't love the way it makes my hair feel gritty because I do love when my hair feels really nice and soft and silky but I like the way it makes my hair look and this really does work a treat. I do think it is worth the price tag from that perspective so I will be purchasing the full size product of this when it does run out. Then the other product I want to um, talk about is from a brand called Original Mineral or O&M. Now I love this brand. I'm a little bit obsessed and I did recently just order a few things from Adore Beauty which I felt might work some more wonders on my hair but the one product that I'm like obsessed with aside from the 7 day miracle uh, leave-in kind of uh, product I will link that down below because that is amazing and it smells so good uh, is their frizzy logic serum so I apply a few drops of this into my hair after I've had a shower when it's when it's towel dried and it's still damp and I find that this leaves my hair feeling really silky and soft afterwards and it does help to reduce a little bit of the frizz not all of it but a little bit I just like the way it makes my hair feel and it doesn't leave it looking greasy no matter how much I put in and I do find that I can put this into my hair also when it's dry as well and it still looks great so definitely a good one I think this might be the travel sized product so it's got argan oil in it but yes very beautiful definitely one worth trying so that is it those are all of my beauty favorites for 2017 I hope you guys enjoyed watching this very long video thank you so much if you did make it to the end thank you so much for all of your support over 2017 and I really appreciate every single one of you who have clicked that subscribe button and who do come back every single week to watch my videos it means the world to me and I really love this community that we have created and built together so thank you so much um, I would love to know if there are any particular kinds of videos you'd like to see this year. I am sort of planning out the kinds of things I want to film for 2018. So yeah, please do make sure that you drop those ideas in the comments box below so that I can make sure that I try to include them this year. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.